Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. The rematch was highly anticipated after Foreman had won their first encounter in 1973. No fear in either man. There is no fear in George Foreman. See Ali's trainer right next to me is saying it. You may hear him. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Job. Foreman is all over. Which ended with Foreman knocking Frazier down six times before the fight was stopped in the second round. Nancy Dundee is screaming, stop it. It is over. It is over. It is over in the second round. George Foreman is the heavyweight champion of the world. Meanwhile, both men, former champions dethroned by Muhammad Ali in epic battles, found themselves reflecting on their careers after losing to the charismatic Ali. How are you going to make out with Muhammad Ali? I'm going to be ready. I'm going to give him something to think about on the 28th of January. Heavyweight champion of all the world, George Foreman. Shaking hands with Floyd Patterson. That's the first time I've ever shaked, shook hands with Floyd Patterson. That was a it? great fighter, great it's champion. Really <laughs> he win it by unanimous decision is Muhammad Ali. Very even fight. Ali, a sneaky right hand. Another sneaky right hand. This time he works over the shoulder of Foreman. talking now attention I told you all of my critics I told you all that I was the greatest of all time Frazier always resilient and determined vowed to work harder to regain his status as a top contender Foreman introspective and strategic plotted his comeback with a newfound focus on his technique and conditioning as the rematch approached Predictions flew from both camps. In the scorching heat of June 1976, anticipation swelled as boxing fans gathered at Nassau Coliseum in New York for the highly awaited rematch between former heavyweight champions. The atmosphere crackled with tension as the two legendary heavyweights prepared to renew their rivalry. Foreman, confident in his ability to replicate his previous success, spoke of ending the fight even sooner this time. To the boos of the crowd, George Foreman. And make no mistake about it, this man has psychological scars from the way he's been treated by people ever since he lost to Ali. And here comes Joe Frazier. Frazier, undeterred by his previous defeat, expressed a quiet determination to prove his resilience and make a statement in the ring. In a surprising move, Frazier decided to shave his head, a symbolic gesture of shedding old habits and embracing a new approach to his boxing career. He shaved his head! It's a different looking Joe Frazier! The stage was set for their second encounter. Let's slow him down. Let's hear the introduction. Smoking Joe Fraser. I'd say there are about 16,000 people here, all of them cheering for Joe Fraser. His opponent this evening from Marshall, Texas, former heavyweight champion of the world, 
224 and a half pounds, George Foreman. Foreman. That's not easy for George Foreman to take. Now watch this. Now when I tell you to break, I want you to step back and break. You hear what I'm saying to you? And I want a good free fight. And when I commend you to break, I want you to break. Shake hands now. Good luck to you both. I don't think it'll have any effect on Joe Frazier. <laughs> Round one, action underway. And Joe changes style. From the opening bell of the rematch, Foreman wasted no time asserting his dominance once again. George is big. He comes at you. Foreman is throwing leather. He's got Frazier against the ropes. And he's, Foreman is punching crisply. They're not those long looping punches. Foreman has confidence against Joe Frazier. This is not Frazier pursuing Ali. It's a different kind of fight. There are horses for courses. There are styles for fighters. Foreman is punching away at Joe Frazier. His punches thundered through the arena, each one a testament to his raw power and precision. Looks like a telephone pole at you from George Foreman. And then there's the right uppercut, his other great weapon. That left keeps getting into Frazier. Again, you saw it there. Then the right. Foreman wants this fight desperate. He says he'll do more damage than he did in the first fight. He says winners get hit. Frazier, known for his ability to absorb punishment and keep coming forward, weathered the storm in the early rounds, looking for opportunities to counter with his trademark left hooks. Bomb in the red team, Frazier the white. Frazier looking so small against the huge man of Bomb. But it's first round action. And in the first time around, Frazier went down three times. Frazier, dance, Bob, weave, challenging Bomb. As the bell rang for the second round, both fighters came out swinging. Foreman, known for his devastating power, immediately tried to assert dominance with his thunderous punches. Frazier, ever the tactician, bobbed and weaved, looking for an opening to land his signature left hook. The crowd roared as the two fighters engaged in a fierce sex change at the center of the ring. Foreman backed Frazier into a corner, unleashing a flurry of punches aimed at ending the fighterly once again. But Frazier, drawing on his experience and grit, weathered the storm and managed to slip away, regaining his composure. Sensing an opportunity, Frazier launched a lightning fast left hook that caught Foreman flush on the jaw. The impact reverberated through the arena as Foreman staggered back.
momentarily stunned, Frazier pressed forward, throwing more pinches with precision and determination. Foreman, shaken but resilient, fought back with renewed intensity. The round continued with both fighters trading heavy blows, each refusing to give an inch. The momentum swung back and forth as the seconds ticked away. As the bell rang to signal the end of the round, the crowd erupted in applause. Both Foreman and Frazier returned to their corners, breathing heavily but focused. The second round had been a showcase of skill, power, and heart from both fighters, setting the stage for an unforgettable battle ahead. Round three. I don't think I have to identify Frazier for you or for me. Now let's see if Joe comes on. In the third round, Foreman unleashed a devastating combination that sent Frazier staggering. The crowd gasped as Frazier struggled to regain his footing, his resilience on full display. Good right lead by Foreman. Another good right. Oh, Frazier hurt. Frazier hurt by a right lead and then a left. They're out. Steadily, insistent. This is a fan's fight. Despite his valiant efforts, Frazier found himself repeatedly on the receiving end of Foreman's relentless assault. George has hurt Joe Frazier in this round. Joe fighting back. Foreman accused Joe of quitting in the first fight. Frazier never quit in his life. Halfway through the round, Frazier found his rhythm, landing sharp hooks to Foreman's body and quick jabs to keep the bigger man at bay. He just slips a lot of those punches, but gets hit with too many. George has not taken a backward step. Round three. Foreman, undeterred, pressed forward, trying to impose his size advantage. Ah, caution! Caution from referee Harold Ballin. Foreman did pull Frazier with his left hand, round three. George Foreman's round again. He is screaming over here. It's all George Foreman tonight. All George Foreman. We'll see. Round four. When you've got a tiger like Frazier, you don't ever give up on him. 
As the fourth round began, Foreman intensified his assault. He stalked Frazier around the ring, throwing powerful combinations that tested Frazier's defenses. Frazier, however, demonstrated his ring savvy by slipping and countering with precise pinches aimed at wearing down Foreman's endurance. Frazier into the ropes. Frazier, known for his ability to absorb punishment, clinched to regain his composure and avoid further damage. Less than a minute to go, as you can see, in round four. Ceaseless action. victory within his grasp, continued to unleash powerful blows, each one aimed at securing a decisive finish. Frazier, however, dug deep into his reserves, countering with precise hooks and uppercuts that kept Foreman honest. Foreman still punching well. You saw that left snap Frazier's head. Pushing him off. Good right by Foreman. This is not the fellow who staggered about the ring against Ron Lyle. No way. In the closing moments of the round, Foreman landed a crushing right cross that rocked Frazier back against the ropes. With the crowd on its feet, Foreman seized a moment, unleashing a relentless barrage of punches that overwhelmed Frazier. Frazier trying to fight back. Foreman dominating.
recklessly. Frazier beat the count and signaled to the referee that he was ready to continue. Moments later, another devastating right hook from Foreman found its mark, sending Frazier crashing to the mat for the second time in the round. Frazier taking it from George Foreman. Foreman, not Foreman again with the right. Second knockdown in the round. One more knockdown, this fight is over. Five! George Foreman struggling to, no Frazier, struggling to his feet. George Foreman. The referee once again initiated the count but it was clear that Frazier was in no condition to continue. And, and, Errol Valen says the fight is over. George Foreman wins in the fifth round by a technical knockout. Across their encounters, Foreman's raw power and relentless aggression proved overwhelming. In their bouts, Foreman sent Frazier to the canvas a staggering eight times, a testament to his formidable skill and unyielding determination. Each knockdown marked not just a moment in the ring, but a chapter in boxing history. The boxing career over for Joe Frazier. For Frazier, known for his indomitable spirit and gritty resilience, the fights against Foreman were battles fought with heart and pride. His courage in facing a force like Foreman solidified his legacy as a true champion of the sport, despite the outcomes. In the annals of boxing lore, the clashes between George Foreman and Joe Frazier remain etched as a testament to skill, strength, and the unwavering spirit of competition.